Hi, Super Zeus here, back in another Anthem Marina Mansion New Game Plus 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 video, episode 57. And you can see I can get an insane amount of Anthem. I have an insane amount of Anthem and I can get um, 1830 quarks and also I have a lot of electrons. So I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a quantum and a sign. And right now I'm just gonna keep assigning quarks into green so I can get more green power. I already have 326% increase in extra Vulcanic galaxies, so that's really nice. So I'm just going to need to just get um, some electrons so I can start Quantum Challenge 3, which is many dimensions can only be boosted by meta antimatter. Meta antimatter never boosts dimension boosts. So, okay, I have, I have enough electrons, so I'm just going to start this. So I need E45 billion antimatter, so better start with some tachyon particles E76 maybe you can get up to the E80 range there's the E80 and maybe even more I'm up to E24 billion already which is a good sign that that this may not even be that hard of a challenge up to E84 tachyon particles and um, I can get a lot of Eternity points, so I'm already up to E38 billion antimatter, and I'm pretty close to another triple the amount of tachyon particles gained upgrade, which are powerful. So, yeah, those are the best. Not that no, these are the best, but they're still really powerful. So, I'm just gonna get that and then um, dilate again, and I have now E85 tachyon particles. So, now I think it's just waiting to eventually make the goal because the quantum challenges take a long time to complete so it's, I think it's gonna be mostly waiting except um, there is a the tachyon particle formula is better upgrade which are OP they're like that's gonna that's gonna get me well into to the e86 range so there we go uh, e86 there it is so Hopefully that should I, that should put me in good shape to beat this within um, like 12 hours, hopefully. So, yeah, there's not really not much else I can do. See achievements, I haven't done anything else. Statistics, I have 1.56 quintillion banked eternities. So that, that's, that's crazy. So, really not much else I can do. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back 15 hours later, and I have completed the challenge. So, you can see um, challenges. Finally, we're going to get this reward, and hopefully it's going to be overpowered. So, I think now I'm getting 6 electrons per galaxy. Yeah, I am. So, that, that's, that's already pretty OP, but the reward... Um, let's see how crazy the reward is. <clears throat> Whoa, infinity power... Um, boost to meta dimensions. This is like 400 times. That, that that's actually a crazy multiplier because that's gonna really help quark gain. Maybe I can even try to go for a speed run. So it, it looks like this is just gonna be a crazy thing. Look at this. I'm I'm well into the 700s um, in the exponent, and usually it it takes a long time to just. It takes usually it takes a long time to to get this far. I can gain seven hundred quarks per minute. That, that that's crazy. Maybe I can start going for eventually um, glue on upgrades. But first, I I just need to assign some quarks into green. So you can see I'm getting. This looks like the peak, but seven hundred something quarks per minute. It's crazy. I'm actually going to go for a speed run right now because I think I may be able to do something with this. Maybe I can get a five second speed run if I... Five seconds is really hard. But it, it's still like... It's still even easier to get speed runs. It's really just quark grinding that's going to be a lot easier because of this challenge. Like, I, I don't think I can really get any new speedruns. My fastest quantum is, let's see, 7.76 nanoseconds. So, I still am making 
um, good progress. And if I wait like a few hours, maybe I can get 5,000 corks. Maybe even 10,000 corks. You can see it's really easy to get this um, the E150 at triple the amount of tachyon particles. And this is where I can go up to E90 tachyon particles. And then maybe... I'm not sure how long it's going to take for me to get these two upgrades. I don't think it's going to be that long. Getting E164 per second. So it should only take a minute to get <clears throat> up to E92 tachyon particles. I'm just going to sign some more quirks into green. I'm just... I'm going to... Try to, I'm trying to go for these cork doublers, so I'm going to actually go for 50,000 corks into green. And that's also just really, it is it is significant to help boost the color powers. For the, ne for the next quantum challenge, let's see what the next quantum challenge is. Like automatic crunches challenge. Okay, like this one. Each dimension produces the dimension 2 below it. First dimensions produce reduced antimatter. Um... Okay, so it's like that, but applied to all dimensions. I remember, like, I was thinking about what if it was like this, but except with all types of dimensions. I guess this is what it is. And then meta dimension boost costs increase slower and buffs are removed. Does that mean, like, the buffs from meta dimensions are removed? That, that could be what that means. I may, I may get a new best meta antimatter. So it looks like I've also gotten the two big dilation upgrades. So here we go, almost E93 tachyon particles, and let's see, I'm I'm all the way up to E1.3 trillion. Let's see what this, the statistics say. Whoa, um, I would start this in 12,000 BC. <laughs> that that's crazy. I just I sorry I just like that statistic. I think I've broken my antimatter record. I'm up to E, um, yeah, I'm up to E 1.375 trillion. So, and the meta antimatter is E 858. See if I can, I think probably the, the electrons per quark is really helping. Not electrons per quark, electrons per galaxy. So, like, maybe, um, okay, not quite E 93. I want, I want E 93 tachyon particles, but... It's okay. Um, so, you know, there's not much I can really do at this point. I mean, actually, there's a lot. I can just keep um, getting more quarks at this point. And I, I really want to see what happens um, with a long run in the game. I want to see what happens with like a long quantum. And eventually, I'll be getting... Um, this I'll be doing this challenge next episode. I just, I just want to actually see something. Just let's see how many time theorems I have. 2.65 e85. So I am on my way to eventually unlocking pair challenges for four e85 time theorems. That's that's the next thing. I think it's gonna be e. I'm not no not in episode 62. I think. So I'll see. You see, I've broken my best meta antimatter on camera so I can gain almost 2500 quarks it's crazy so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out